historically, I'll just kind of start with uh, the beginnings of quantum computing. Like most things, uh, Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman is generally credited with the idea of coming up with the idea of quantum computing. And this is because he was trying to understand simulations of molecules and nuclei and atoms, and he realized that these, map, these problems don't map very well onto uh, classical computers. He said, if you actually want to make a uh, simulation of nature, then you better make a computer that obeys the laws of quantum mechanics, because that's what nature obeys. So this was a kind of a general interest. Uh, this was in like, 1982. Uh, it was a long time before people found uh, practical applications and kind of even longer um, you know, decades since that we're able to actually provide uh, quantum computing systems that you can use. Um, so just as a kind of overview, so we're all on the same page, you're probably familiar with classical bits, with binary, information that's encoded in zero and one. I see all your cameras and phones and stuff, that's the kind of information they use. Uh, but I'm here to talk to you about qubits, or, or, which is short for quantum bits, where it can take, uh, a qubit can take the values of zero and one, just like a classical bit can, but it can also take any linear superposition, complex superposition of zero and one as possible. So. You can think of classical information as being um, the ends of this arrow, where you can be either zero or you can be one. But we represent quantum information with something called a block sphere, where we have, uh, say this is the surface of the Earth, where zero would be at the North Pole, one would be at the South Pole, and then any point on that surface of the sphere will be a linear superposition of zero and one. So, for example, the equator would be an equal position of zero and one. Uh, but because it's complex, you can have different phases associated with it. So why do we care about uh, why do we care about encoding information in qubits as opposed to bits? Well, it turns out that classical computers are very, very bad at simulating uh, nature. Such simple things.